Hi guys, it's Mr. Mustafa here. In this video, we will be solving the mathematics common test March 22 paper for the province KwaZulu Natal. And this is my suggested memo. If you do have any questions, please don't forget to post in the comment section below. So let us get straight into the paper. As you can see, I have cropped out each questions and I've pasted here so let us look at question number one so what they're telling us here is that given the quadratic sequence 5 X Y 29 and its second constant difference is equal to 4 so they are already telling us that it's a quadratic sequence right it basically implies that the second difference uh, it will be constant right so they could have just told us second difference is equal to 4 right so the second di difference is for first thing that we will do is we will create a diagram always so 5 X we have Y and we have 29 so we are doing question 1.1 guys we want to calculate the values of X and Y because this is a quadratic sequence so we take the first differences and yeah X minus 5 we have y minus x here and we have 29 minus y then the second difference is we take the difference between the second and the first term so which is y minus x subtract x minus 5 I rather use brackets than to make a mistake and what do we get here we get 29 minus y minus y minus x and they're telling us that the second difference is equal to 4 so this value is equal to 4 and this value here is also equal to 4 so let us write down this equation we have y minus x minus x plus 5 which is equal to 4 simplify this equation here put it aside right let's simplify this equation we have y minus 2x is equal to we've got plus 5 take it over we're getting minus 1 4 minus 5 and the second equation we have is 29 minus y minus y plus x which is also equal to 4 right remember this is the second difference it's an expression which is equal to 4. How do we know it's equal to 4? They told us here. So what we have is x minus 2y. This here is x. x minus y minus y minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 29, which is minus 25. Now we can see we have an equation here. We have an equation we can solve for y. You can solve for y here and take this and substitute it into this equation or uh, we can multiply this equation by 2 and rearrange or you can use either method of elimination or method of substitution let us just use method of substitution so y is equal to 2x minus 1 therefore x minus 2 into what is the value for y it is 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 25 if we solve this we are getting x minus 4x plus 1 uh, sorry x minus 4x should be plus 2 is equal to minus 25 so we have minus 3x on this side if you take that over we have minus 27 therefore x is equal to minus 27 divided by minus 3 which is 9 if the x value is 9 y value is equal to 2 times 9 which is 18 minus 1 which is 17 right so we can check out what are we doing here we have x as 9 and y as 17 so let's see 9 and 17 so we are adding 4 then we are adding 8 then we should be adding yes uh, from 5 to 9 we are adding 4 then we are adding 8 then we should be adding 12 then 16 yeah so this should be correct or you can substitute your x and y's here and check if this uh, if 
the value is actually equal for it should work right so the value of x is seven nine and the value for y is 17 I hope you understand guys right so let's look at question 1.2 let's make some space here uh, right next question let's separate this a bit right, so question 1.2 if x is equal to 9 y is equal to 17 determine the nth term of the quadratic sequence easy peasy what we can do is just remember the three formulas 2a is equal to d2 3a plus b is equal to difference 1 and then a plus b plus c is equal to term 1 right and that's how we are going to solve for a b c right so guys there are many different formulas right you just stick to I just like to stick to this formula here because it's easy for me to remember right remember these formulas are not given so what we can say now is that uh, 2a is equal to d2 what is difference 2 difference 2 is basically 4 right uh, what is x min obviously we need this value here because that's how we go along this path here we always take the first values using this formula so d2 is equal to 4 right therefore a is equal to 2 4 divided by 2 so 3 times a 3 times 2 is 6 plus b is equal to difference 1 what is difference 1 here we had x value as 9 so we should get 4 here as well 9 minus 5 which is 4 right so we're going to write down 4 therefore the value for b is equal to 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 and then a plus b so we have 2 minus 2 which is just 0 plus c is equal to term 1 term 1 which is 5 therefore c is equal to 5 now if we write down tn tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c remember the general form is a n squared plus b n plus c so a n squared we have 2 n squared minus 2 n plus 5 now let us check if this formula is actually true uh, let's just substitute maybe uh, term 1 if we substitute 1 inside here so what are we getting if we substitute 1 we are getting 2 minus 2 which is 0 plus 5 yes it does work out 2 minus 2 is 0 plus 5 if we do substitute 2 inside here 2 times 2 squared which is 8 8 minus 2 times 2 8 minus 4 which is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 so you can see each term is working out now uh, 1.3 calculate the 50th term of the sequence if we want to calculate the 50th term we just say term 50 so 1.3 term 50 is equal to uh, 2 into 50 squared minus 2 times 50 plus 5 right and we should get an answer I just use a calculator and show you right so we have 2 into 50 right squared uh, minus 2 times 50 minus 2 times right, so let me just use a bracket like how I've written it out minus 2 times 50 plus uh, 5 right so we should get 4905 okay I hope you understanding guys right so 4905 right let us move on to question that was question 1 easy peasy let's look at question 2 alright so question 2 so basically the first question was just create 11 work right let's look at question 2 more on sequence and series the second term of an arithmetic sequence is 8 so what do we know we know that for an arithmetic sequence the TN formula is a plus n minus 1 d so when they talk about the second term just write a plus d if they talk about the third term go and write a plus 2 d and so on if we're talking about the 12th term write a plus 11 d okay so the second term of an arithmetic sequence is 8 go and write down an equation right from here so second term is 8 so t2 is equal to a plus d which is equal to 8 and the seventh term is 11 times the value of the first term 
and the seventh term term 7 is equal to is 11 times the value of the first term and the seventh term is 11 times the value of the first term so 11 a determine the first three terms of the sequence right so good question here the seventh term is 11 times the value of the first term right so what is term 7 right so we said it's 11 times the value of the ter uh, first term the first term is should have written it out like this 11 times term 1 now term 7 remember we have equation 1 we need to look for a second equation so term 7 is a plus 6 D right which is equal to 11 times a therefore what we have here is an equation we can say 11 a uh, take it over so what we have is minus 10 a uh, plus 6 D is equal to 0 that's the equation we have I'm just trying to simplify this equation uh, or or let's just use the first method we can just use method of substitution let's say let's simplify this equation we have minus 5a plus okay we don't need to do this uh, we can just say we can just solve for d here and substitute inside this equation and just solve for d in the first so we can say d is equal to 8 minus a this is equation 2 let's substitute 8 minus a in the place of d uh, so we got you can take this a over and make it 10 a and d is 8 minus a right so this is d which is 8 minus a you can say 6 into 8 minus a if you want you can go and simplify both sides by 2 or just take it inside so you just take it inside as 48 minus 6 a is equal to 10 a now what we have we have take that over we got 16 a or let's keep the a's on one side you can say bring that 10 over we got minus 16 a is equal to negative 48 therefore minus 48 divided by minus 16 you should get an answer of 3 so if the value of a is 3 then the value of d therefore d is now equal to 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 and determine the first three terms of the sequence you can write first three terms terms are so the value of a is 3 then the next term the common difference is positive 5 so we're adding 5 so it should be 8 and then we are adding 5 again so we should get 13 now let's see if these statements are true so what we have we have 8 here right so the second term is 8 do we have second term as 8 yes but, but the second one the second statement how are we going to check whether if this is true the seventh term is 11 times the value of the first term let's see 11 times the value of the first term so 11 times 3 should be 33 so we should end up with 33 as a seventh term now remember these are just extra you're not supposed to put these solutions here they only ask for the first three terms right so uh, first three terms are we should write that down first three terms are 3 8 13 now I'm just checking that statement uh, where saying the seventh term is 11 times the value of the f so if you keep on adding here so next one we're getting is 18 then 23 adding 5 and then 27 then 33 you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the seventh term is actually equal to 11 times the value of the first term so it was true so you just needed to create it create two simultaneous equation and solve let's take that out